What's up guys and welcome to the first tutorial of the series creating music for video games in Ableton or Fruity Loops. And the idea is to show you how to create a few musics, import them to Unity, create a script so you can play with the music according to the danger zones. And this means we have a safe area where the music is calm, then if the enemies are nearby the music gets more intense and then we enter in a battle and the music changes again. More or less like it happens in Skyrim and many other games. We are also going to see how to play random music, fade in, fade out, lower pitch for slow motions and a few more things. We are going to create two musics, one in Ableton Live and the other one in Fruity Loops. This way everyone can follow along and choose what digital audio workstation they prefer. Both softwares have a free version that you can download. Ableton lets the user do everything for free for 30 days and Fruity Loops is free and you can save your project and export your music but you can't open your projects with the free version. Anyway, let's start with Ableton Live and in the next tutorial, which is in the description, we create a music in Fruity Loops. So after you have downloaded and installed Ableton, when you open, this is what it looks like and we want to click this button on the right top corner and enter in this mode. So let's just do a quick overview. You can zoom in and zoom out in this section by holding mouse 1 and going up or down and if you go to the sides, you can navigate. Here we can control the tempo. This lets you play, stop and record the USB plugged in or instruments or a microphone. And this little sidebar allows us to choose what we want to loop and what we want to export. And to loop, we only need to press this button. Ok, in this left panel, now we have things like instruments, VSTs and audio effects that comes with Ableton. As well as a pack of samples from drums and you can add a folder full of samples or drums like I did, but I'm gonna only use what Ableton gives us. You can search anything you want, let's say piano and you can go to the instruments and it shows all the piano's instruments and if you go to show all results it shows everything with the piano in it. It's really useful actually. Now you can download free samples in the free sound site, sometimes you can find great things here and that's it for us to get started. You have two very distinct ways to create music, you can start with the melody or you can start with the drums. You can try both. You can even make music only with melody. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna start with creating some drums with the most common elements like kicks, snares, claps, hats, cymbals, etc. And for the first part, we want to create 9 bars and you can drag this slider to the 9, like this, and press this loop icon. Now in packs, let's go to samples, select drums and let's go to kick and choose one that you like. Oh, and as you can see, we have four tracks, two midis and two audios. Midis are for instruments and VSTs and audio is where we want to drag and drop our kick to the beginning. For now, we can delete these midis by selecting them and pressing delete. You can rename the track with Ctrl R to kick. And now let's select a clap, a snare or maybe a bell, why not? And put it in the beginning of our second bar, like this. We can select and duplicate everything by holding down mouse 1 and control. And now you can drag to the third bar like this until we have 9 bars completed. And if we press play, we can start to imagine the rhythm and see what has a volume too high or a volume too low. But let's go ahead and search for hat. To create a new track you can press Ctrl T or with the right mouse select insert audio track. Now we can add the hat in between the kick and the bell or every four steps, it depends on what you want. And if you select it like this and press Ctrl D, you can rapidly duplicate the selection. Ok, now let's add something more to this and make sure to leave some space for the music to breathe and for the melody that we are going to create. And for this to be a little bit different, I'm gonna choose some congas and try to create something more light, something more fresh.
If you want, you can add a symbol in the beginning like this. And let's create a group of the drums by selecting every track and pressing Ctrl G. Rename the group with Ctrl R to drums. Now we can select everything and by holding Ctrl down we can drag in front of the 9 bar and create the drums for the alert state music, in other words when the enemy is nearby. And now the idea is that either you give it more rhythm or you can make it less rhythmic. I'm gonna remove half of the hats, make it more calm since I want to create some thrilling, some suspense. You can add another drum, change the kick or the bell, but what I'm going to do is change the kick to something like this and add a new conga. I made a few changes until I got to this. And now we want to duplicate again the first part to create the danger zone music. In other words, when we are in battle. And this is where we certainly want more rhythm and one of the first things I do is adding a snare or something that creates an impact. And now I'll play with the hats and the snare by adding more rhythm to the hats like this. I add the rest of the snares and adjust the hats a bit more. And after some small adjustments we play with the kick and the conga. which will create a pattern with both and we are going to make sure that each one lets the other breathe. And that creates a more rhythmic sound. Also add more symbols and we are good to go to our next step. Which is the melody, and for the melody I recommend you to take a look around at other musics in games, try to isolate every instrument in your head and understand what creates the melody, what sets the mood and how many instruments there are. And if you really want to take it to the next level, try looking into chords and search for things like major chord, which is kinda happy and not so sad, at least most of the times, but if you want something sad, try minor chords. Or if you want something triumphant, victorious, search for dominant chords or as well diminished chords for scary thriller music or even Arabic chords. And in Ableton, if you don't have a digital piano, you can play notes with a keyboard. As you can see, the C note is the A, the S is the D note and so on. Your keyboard only represents one octave, but Z and X allows you lower notes or to higher notes and we're gonna see that in a moment. Okay, but for now we want to add the MIDI track with the right mouse and search for an instrument that you like. We are going to need something between two and four instruments. Maybe four is too much and one is not enough. It really depends on how you handle them. I'm gonna choose the grand piano and drag and drop on top of our MIDI track like this and I can press the keys on my keyboard that we have seen to play the C, the D, the E, the F note and so on. Now, there are two ways to get a melody into Ableton, or at least two very distant ways. Either you select a few bars and press right click to insert MIDI clip. And if you double click, you have the piano roll. You can zoom in and zoom out by pressing and holding mouse like this. And if I play a note, you can see it's in C3 and I can go up with X or down with Z. And if you double click, you can add a note, make it longer or smaller, move up or down. Or you could make sure this red button is active and press this to record and start recording your melody that you are going to create with a keyboard or with a digital piano that you have around. If you are doing this for the first time, it may seem kinda hard, but remember that anyone can create a simple melody, just start small and simple, and you're gonna get there eventually. After you have recorded, you want to adjust these notes, so they start at the same time, and you can access the notes by pressing two times on the track. And make sure that they are on beat. Normally, if you move around, they will tend to snap and a blue line will appear. 
okay, so let's duplicate it and make a few changes eventually. I think I didn't like what I came up with this piano. And I move on to the next instrument. You can do the same if you think you are stuck with something. Just move on to the next. You can shut off a track with the yellow button. And the S stands for solo. The next instrument we want is something that starts filling in the space we still have in our music. But at the same time it doesn't overload our music with sounds. Because we will still need space for the strings and the bass, at least. I chose an organ, a funky organ, and started playing some notes. And since the piano was off, this eventually became the instrument that creates the melody and the other instruments will follow along with the organ. I recorded something I had in mind and started editing it like we did with the piano and make sure it starts in the beginning and that it's on beat and that it also follows a pattern. Normally we want to create a melody with 4 bars, then we duplicate it and make a few changes. But you can create one with 8 bars or just 2 bars. Make sure you don't create melodies with 3 bars, 5 or 7 bars because it will complicate things for you, at least in the beginning. Well, now we want some bass, and I searched for a few basses and end up using a funk saw. So this is becoming a more funkish sound. And I grouped all of these instruments with Ctrl G and renamed them with Ctrl R to melodies. And this time for the melody of the bass, I'm just gonna hold the melody that we have in the funky organ and drag on top of the funky saw, and that's going to duplicate the melody that we had. The bass normally uses longer notes. Let's say it basically glues the melody with the drums and it plays in lower notes as well. Let's push this down and make it longer, like this. Make sure it doesn't get too messy. And if you want, you may need to remove some notes. Just a quick tip, if you press two times here, you have access to the instrument, to the synthesizer, and you can press with the right click mouse on a parameter and select show automation which will show a dotted line that we can add basically keyframes and animate that value like this and the sound now it changes quite a bit now let's duplicate this change a note or two if you want and search for a string and after you have found one you like, duplicate the bass melody and this will need also some changes. We want to push the strings one octave up like this. Let's add an audio effect, so search for reverb, which is in audio effects, drag on top of the track or the instrument and you can see the difference. It's like we are adding virtual space to this instrument. Pretty much every instrument at some point will need a certain amount of reverb. Even the drums should have a bit, you can try to play with it, it's pretty cool. Now I made sure the strings only plays on the beginning of each bar, like this. So everything sounds more fluid. I also added some reverb to the organ. And a simple delay, which lets you delay the left and the right channel, separately, according to these numbers, which controls the delay time. So this means a small number will repeat itself more times than a bigger number that only repeats every 6th or 8th bar. The feedback, it's like a tail. You can make a small tail or a big tail of sounds that play it. Dry and wet controls the impact of this effect on the track, and dry is no impact. Ok, moving on to the next music, or basically the when there is an enemy nearby, which is a more thriller sound, and for that I used the diminished chords that we have talked earlier, and I'm gonna use the piano again, but only play lower notes and only in the beginning of each bar. And then play on top of it with the funky organ, since it is our main melody instrument. And I want to use those notes that we have created in the piano, so I duplicate it from the piano to the funky organ, make a few changes, record a new melody. And 
until I end up with this. I also copied the melody from the piano to the strings, adjust the tone and eventually create a new piano melody for the first part. But that's mainly it for the first and second part. Okay, now in the last part, when we are in battle, we want something a bit more epic and victorious. So I end up duplicating everything, making the first, second and third part with 16 bars each, so we can have a bit more of diversity. So again, I use the same process and start with the piano, made a simple melody that at a certain point goes up a few notes to create some kind of epic moment, and I end up recording these. I also searched for minor chords this time and usually I recommend for now to keep recording on loop and keep recording until you find something that you like and when you like it you stop recording and go to edit the melody like we have been doing make sure it's on beat you know make it 4 or 8 bars long and duplicate it and I also added some lower notes like this So, after getting to something you like in the piano or in other instrument that you have, you can move on to the next instrument that will, most of the times, use similar notes, so it doesn't sound that bad. And I move on to the strings in this case, and recorded this. After editing the notes, I even tried to duplicate it to the funky bass to see how it sounded. But didn't sound that good, so I moved on to the funky organ and had to move it one octave up. And then I even tried a xylophone, but I didn't like it. And at a certain point I even end up recording a new melody for the funky organ. And that's just to show you how it's normal to going back and forward. It's the process of trying to find something you like, something that fits in your music and record it and edit it and make a few adjustments until you come to a point and say OK, I'm not going to change anything and that's good. And that's pretty much it guys, subscribe for more because in the next tutorial we are going to export the drums and the melodies to Unity and start creating a script that controls if the music is looped, if it fades in or if it fades out, and change the music if it's in a chill zone, if an enemy is nearby, or if it's in danger. So okay guys, feel free to ask any questions and doubts that you may have, I will try my best to give you some directions. This is a video made to reach the most number of people independent of their music skills. So subscribe for weekly updates of game development, and see you in the next tutorial.